Welcome once again to another story. Today's story is super duper special. It's titled Zanelli Situ, My Story. Can you tell why it's special? Can you guess? Well, one of the reasons that it's very special is that it's a true story. Have a look at the cover. This is Zanelli. Can you see anything special about her? Yeah, she's smiling. She has flowers. She has a medal around her neck. And really special is that she has a wheelchair. So Zanelli is physically challenged. Some people call it being disabled. Some people call it being handicapped. But Zanelli is specially abled. You'll find out in the story. Let's read on. The story was written by Liz Spark. Jesse Breitenbach and Andy Thyssen. I was born in summer in a town called Matatele in the Eastern Cape. Matatele is near Lesotho where there are many mountains. In the winter they are covered with snow. Zanele was born in South Africa. Doesn't she look happy with her family? My father was a builder, and he moved from place to place to find work. We moved to Lesotho, and that's where I started school. I was very happy, but when I was 11 years old, I grew tired and weak, and then I couldn't walk. My parents took me to the hospital. What is wrong, doctor? I don't know. We must do some special tests to find out. I had to stay in hospital for three years. I was very tired and I slept many hours every day. After three years, the doctors told me I would not be able to walk again. I was very sad because I love sports. Oh, that's really sad. We think Zanele has got TB in her spine. TB is short for tuberculosis. It's a disease. It has attacked her nerves. I'm very sorry, but she will be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. I went to a special school in Umtata, and my teachers encouraged me. It was a very busy school, with lots of activities like sport and sewing. On weekends, we had tasks to do. We had to clean our rooms, polish our shoes, and clean our wheelchairs. Wow, that's a lot of work. But you see, being in a wheelchair didn't stop her. Zanele... How far can you throw this javelin? I decided to keep trying and never give up. If you have a disability, you can still do something you love. I love to see how far I can go, so I entered a competition. I won a bronze medal for shot put, a silver medal for discus, and a gold medal for javelin. Wow, see all her medals. Well done, Zanele. You are really improving. I wanted to get better and better at my sports, so I trained very hard. When I rested, I loved to sew and listen to gospel music. I entered more competitions, and I got many medals and prizes. I started to dream about maybe competing in the Paralympics one day. Wow, hard work does pay. The Paralympics are just like the Olympics, where the best athletes in the world compete for gold, silver and bronze medals. But in the Paralympics, the athletes are disabled in different ways, so they have to try even harder to train and win. Wow, can you see the flags? Which ones do you recognize? Is your country's flag in here? Then I heard that I was going to Sydney in Australia to take part in the 2000 Paralympics. At last we were in the plane, flying over the Indian Ocean. I'm so excited, I thought. But when I got there, I suddenly felt very scared of all the people watching me. I just wanted to go home again. Have you ever had stage fright? Have you ever been afraid of a crowd? Yeah, it can be nerve-wracking. Then, when I threw my javelin, it landed far in front of everyone's. I broke the world record, and I got a gold medal. I was the first African woman to win a gold medal in the Paralympics. I was so happy and very proud. 
My motto is, keep going, follow your dreams and never give up, even if something happens to make you sad or scared. That is what I teach my little girl as a mazi. She's eight years old and she also loves to do athletics and gymnastics. I'm still training and going to competitions. And in 2016, I hope to go to the Paralympics in Rio de Janeiro. Wow, what a wonderful story. Can you check and find out how Zanelli did in the 2016 Paralympics? Hope you enjoyed it. Please keep being motivated and keep reading.